G'day everyone, it is Coach Michelle J. Raymond back to bring you the latest features with LinkedIn company pages. And today's feature that I want to bring to you is the featured section for LinkedIn company pages. So how about I show you what it looks like over on LinkedIn first up. First of all, what you need to do is go into view as a member on a company page that's got this enabled. And in this case, it's mine. Scroll down and here we have the huge featured section. And I'm gonna show you how we update that. And you can have a play around because it's not just one thing that you can have featured. I'm gonna show you how you can have multiple featured sections. If you've got options to have multiple things show in that featured section, then as page admins, we need to be strategic around how can we best use those slots that we've got on our page. Is it one key message that you want to promote? Is it showing off multiple services? Maybe it's highlighting an event that you've got coming up, but this is prime real estate. It's something we've been waiting for for ages, and I'm excited to see that it's here. It's super easy to update. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go over into page admin view on my LinkedIn company page. I'm going to show you behind the scenes on how quick and easy it is to update this. So let's go. Here we are in page admin view of my LinkedIn company page. And on the left hand side is where we've got our whole menu as admins of things that we can update and change. Now, when I first got this feature rolled out to me, there was a little sign that said new next to edit page. So this is how you'll know you've got the feature rolled out to you. I was probably not one of the first that got it rolled out to my page a little bit further down the track. So if you haven't got it yet, just be patient. It's on its way. If you have got it, let me know in the comments your strategy for getting the most out of this featured section. I'm going to go to edit page and on the left hand side under home, you can see we've got featured and I'm going to manage featured. Now, if this is your first time here, it will possibly have a different message for you. But because I've already updated one thing to be able to show you, and that was that post that you could see here, then you can start to see, okay, what are our options that we've got? If I click on the plus button, it opens up if I want to feature a recent post. Now, let's just say I want to promote this one. It's the post that I did to let everyone know that the second edition of Business Gold has come out, which is all about LinkedIn company pages. So if you're struggling and don't know how to be a page admin, that's a really cool place to start. You can see now that I've got two different options. On the right hand side, you can move them around. So if I want to make sure what order things are in, and if you decide that it's out with the old and in with the new, then all you need to do is click on the garbage bin icon and that will remove it. So I've now got two showing on here. I'm going to do three just so that we can have a look at this. And I'm going to hit select on this one. We've got three and that is the maximum. You can see if I try and hit on plus again, it brings up the message three is the limit. Unlike our personal profiles where we've got lots more that we can do, but use your three wisely if that's the number that you choose. So let's go and have a look at my at the member view of my company page so you can have a look and see what this one looks like. Here we are on member view of my LinkedIn company page and I'm just going to scroll down and show you what the featured section looks like. And here we see we've now got those three items. So I had a LinkedIn newsletter, I had one of my posts and you can see I also had another post here. Now, this is something that when you have these posts that are featured, you can see where branding becomes important, where thumbnails become important, where creating things strategically becomes important. Now, it is not like over on our personal profiles where you can add media and have a particular size thumbnail. You might want to have a think about, do I want to create a set of posts specifically to be used in this featured section? so they all look nice and neat. That's something that I'll definitely be considering for my own page. This is a feature that I've just got. I wanted to show you what some of these things look like. So if you have a look when you come to the page and I scroll down, I've got three featured posts and you can really only see two. What I'm gonna do just as a test for this video is I'm gonna go back into admin view. I'm gonna remove one of these featured posts and see if it changes the sizing at all because realistically having that third one over there, it disappeared unless someone really wants to have a look and they press this arrow, they're not gonna know it even exists. So I think the layout's a little bit, yeah, not so great, but hopefully over time, some of these things will change. With a little bit of magic, I've just gone back, managed that featured section, 
I've removed one of them. So now we've only got two should be showing. So let's scroll down and have a look and see what it looks like. I actually think two looks better. So one or two for me is probably a better option. Then nothing's lost over on that side. What I would say is think strategically about how you can best use that space. It's pretty big when you think about when a visitor comes to your page, takes a look around, what is it that you really want to promote? What is it strategically aligned to your business goals that will make the most difference? That's what I want page admins to have a think about. For you, it might be just one big thing that you want to keep attention to. I also tried with my newsletter because I'd love to grow my company page newsletter. I featured one of those, but there's a section down the bottom of the company page when people come there that promotes that as well. So it felt like a bit of a double up, but have a play around. As always with LinkedIn, there is no right or wrong. There is no one size fits all. So I want page admins to have a look at it. Think about what will make the biggest difference to your page followers, what strategically aligns with your business goals, and how can you really pack a punch in one of those posts to really get the reader's attention. If you've seen any good examples of company pages that have really nailed this featured section, I'd love to know about it. Tag them in the comments so I can go and check them out. So until the next video, don't forget if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. There's lots of cool stuff that we've got coming through. And if we're not connected on LinkedIn, please reach out. Michelle J. Raymond. Details are in the video description so you can find me easily. I have got tips going through on LinkedIn on a daily basis that you don't want to miss out on. So until then, cheers.